There is way too many to count. Oh my goodness. Um, probably my favorite memories as a ranger uh, was just the times at night when we were all sitting in our rooms and we would be um, writing letters home and then making bracelets and you know someone would come in and throw a pillow in your face and then it would just start an all-out riot and you know we've had toothpaste fights and that kind of thing so we got really really silly we were just got like we were really close and we had we would have things called bed pile-ups um, so and, like we just we loved each other so much and we were all like sisters so we all just pile up on the bed and laugh till we cried all the time like I cried so much that summer from laughing, like, you know, your stomach hurts from laughing, and um, so those were really good times. It's like a loss. It's, it, you're mourning a loss, basically. It was like saying goodbye to a friend, and it's so, like, over the year, I'm, it's almost like I'm still in shock that it's not happening. Um, it's hard to not get choked up. I was talking to two pilots the other day, um, so they were asking me about my program, like, you know, my, background and stuff and I said I started with the Ranger program and I know I am where I am today because of that program. I have no doubt I wouldn't be here without the program. Yes, actually we just had a 10 year reunion right here. <laughs> Not too long ago a whole bunch of us uh, ladies now we all get, got together and and we're actually planning another reunion uh, in a couple weeks. So it's, it's lifetime bond, bonds that you get. And I actually left out one of my best friends from the Ranger program. We went to university together and she actually married a guy from Sault Ste. Marie. So now we, um, we both live here and she works for the Ministry of Natural Resources and I work for the Ministry of the Environment. So it, uh, it's funny how things work out <laughs> in that way. I, I was absolutely devastated. There's absolutely no way that you can have the same bond with working at nine to five where you all meet up and go out and, and say do brushing. Um, there's, there's, no, there's no comparison to actually living with the people you're working with because it's not your typical work camp. It, you have rules, you have to have your bed made and the floor is cleaned every single day. Just going for a nine to five locally, that's not teaching you to be an independent person. You could, you could be working at McDonald's that's that seems like the same same kind of idea I mean for us if we wanted to call home we had to walk five kilometers out to the road in a group of four and had half an hour to talk to our parents once a week and then we'd have to walk back so I mean it really showed us that we can be independent people okay Algonquin Hans trails to Algonquin Hans uh, portable do you read over the Moose Lake camp uh, operated through the Minden area office Bancroft district uh, excellent camp. It was a girls camp um, and they operated up until last summer uh, being 2012. They uh, provided a lot of project assistance, special project assistance or regular routine maintenance uh, on top of our own staff. The canoe routes, the hiking trails, the ski trails, footbridges, boardwalks, um, signage, uh, toilet maintenance, fire pit maintenance, so anything that was maintenance and a lot of it was around sustainability or uh, safety, you know, safety of campsites, fire safety, um, attending a lot of local community events, promoting their program and, and their projects and activities and, and uh, taking, you know, hosting all kinds of projects within the community, not just our municipal employer, but other local community groups that had environmental type projects they would assist quite widely and broadly throughout the communities. These types of programs are extremely valuable. Um, it's not just about counting the dollars and cents of a certain program and whether somebody feels politically whether it's of value or, or it's pertinent anymore. Um, this is the grassroots of natural resources environmental management starting with your youth, giving them some real life experience, exposure, uh, opening their eyes um, creating values for them, seeing the hard work that some of the full-time staff in our municipalities and our province do and how overwhelming and how how much of it there is to do and how great some of the challenges are to to continue to maintain it or improve upon it for future generations. You're taking an experience, a priceless experience away from this youth. Like I have seen so many girls change from day one, to, you know, it's eight weeks to day 40. 
you know, at the beginning of the summer, they don't want to be there. They're homesick. They're you want they miss their boyfriend. You know, by the end of the summer, they're the ones crying their eyes out because they don't want to leave. And you just see them accomplish things throughout the summer. Like they're so proud of themselves when they can, you know, portage a canoe for a kilometer or you know, even just like making a meal over a fire, like it's priceless.